This is Casino Kid for the NES, and we're going to see if we can get it working again with open card surgery. Okay, with these cards. Game, uh, start over game. Start over games. Buy, sell, and trade dedicated to video games. I love that. At Midwest Gaming Classic, I was gifted five games that were all deemed not working, and we're going to see if we can get them working again. They also included this. This is an Extra Life cartridge cleaner. I've never seen this before, but curious to check it out. So if we can't get this game working, we'll... we'll We'll try this instead of instead of the brass instead of the bright boy today. We'll we'll try this instead. Keep wanting to call it Brasso. Don't use Brasso, but do use Spotted Cow. When I was in Milwaukee for Midwest Gaming Classic, they literally sold this at the airport. So uh, testing this on a CRT because my Super Retro Trio Three Plus no longer works for NES games. Single tier. Casino Kid in the system. Power on and well, yeah. Okay. Well. That was easy enough. The good news is they have more games. Blue Marlin for the NES. They deemed this game not working as well. And hey, you know what? It's not working as well. Okay. First thing I'm gonna do is the old one-up card because they work and they fit right in there. There's a fluid side, the dry side. I already touched the fluid side with the 99% uh, alcohol stuff, alcohol juice. Yeah, by the way, I don't have a tech background or engineering degree, so. I've just been doing the stuff that I've been doing since the 90s to get these games working again. In the system, there we go, and nothing. I'm actually kind of glad it didn't work because I want to try this weird green stuff. So 3.8 millimeter security bit, everything I use, with the exception of this weird green stuff, um, is linked to my Amazon store below, just for you, right? Do 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 do. Here is Blue Marlin. So we're gonna MMC3, actually, interesting. TL ROM, this is actually, a great board for a lot of great games. Read the fine print here. Gotta go crazy eyes. Shake well before using. Place a small amount at the end of a cotton swab. Ingredients contains... Oh, it contains a uh, isopropyl alcohol along with other stuffs. Tears of stomped Goombas. <laughs> I'm not kidding. The tears of stomped Goombas is one of the ingredients there, but... Well, funny enough, though, if they gave this to me and these games is not working, then they probably already used this on that, right? A little bit of that. There we go. Let's try that. A little gunky material here. Do I get the fumes? I get a little bit of the fumes. Not quite the uh, Wi-Fi seeing fumes like I get with Bright Boy, but I get a little bit. And this is super clean already. I don't think this is gonna change anything. But happy to give it a shot. Oh, it's, it's picking up a little bit here. I know I've heard people say, don't go back and forth, don't go back and forth. Well, all right, and here I am doing it anyway, just like my kids. I'm your kids, by the way. Okay, there we go. Give that a shot. Uh, here's, and, I'm, and I would definitely, definitely want to take it through a one-up card again too, just to get off all that stuff. Cause you do not want to put any residue, even if you can't see it. Just cause you can't see it doesn't mean it's there. You shove that back into your console, your, your top loader, the top loader I got for $49.99 at Montgomery Ward before they went out of business. The top loader I got when they were new, anyway. Enough about my nostalgia, here we go. And there it goes. Still nothing. Yeah, these look clean. I mean, they looked clean to begin with, so I wouldn't think it would have been that, but got my soldering iron here. Very dangerous, but it's okay. Um, this touching up, just reflowing the solder. I'm just going to touch up the pins on the CHR and the PRG. CHR stands for character. Those are like the graphics. PRG is like the program, uh, like the game's coding and all that. Um, I'm just going to touch up the pins on these ones and see if that does the job. And just reflowing the solder, it's just getting this nice and hot, touching the solder point until it melts and then just pulling away and you'll see it melt it'll just kind of you'll see a little wave it'll just kind of change color a little bit and then you then that's it and this is a good thing to do i think if you're not used to soldering yet to get you kind of ready for soldering because the solder's already on there you're just touching it up you're just melting it pulling away letting it cool off you know so it's like just kind of getting you ready for like what it's like you know to solder so that's not a bad idea you've tried cleaning them you've tried the one-up card you've tried you know you've tried rubbing alcohol and q-tips did that for years. You can definitely tell when they're melted too, because like you know the pin, the pin wants to wiggle a little bit, but you need that solder there, so the pin can tell the rest of the board, you know where to go, as far as the information goes from, you know that specific pin to that part of the board, whether it goes to the, um, you know the NES or the MMC chip or whatever it is. Blue Marlin. I don't have a lot of memories playing Blue Marlin. I remember. I know I've played it. When I was gunning for a complete NES set, you know, I, I, I made sure I played everything I had just to make sure it worked, of course. And I remember I had a lot of friends who loved the fishing Nintendo games. And man alive, I was bored. 
but I still played them. You know, I never went fishing with my dad. My, my dad was a classically trained musician who could play the fiddle. He was, a, he was a musician. He never took me fishing, you know. They only had two uncles. One of them died early. The other one played the bassoon. They weren't fishermen. And I didn't really even go fishing until, uh, until I met my wife. And her side of the family, whoa, watch out now. Her side of the family is all like, you know, hunters, fishers, raise cattle and all that. And I was like, I'm... Like they're they're the busy ones. I'm you know they're the ants. I'm just the grasshopper performing, you know, entertaining for my meal here. Like the asshopper, grasshopper, and the ants. The asshopper, yeah. I'm the the asshopper and the ants. That's me. Oh, the world owes me a living. I don't believe that. Okay. All right. Please say this works because I don't want to do anything else to this game if this doesn't work. Boop. In there. Nothing. 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 And we got one working. The reason these games might not be working is because maybe you're not subscribed yet. I don't know, it's worth a shot. Make sure you're subscribed. Up next is, oh, the pretty fun one, Mock Rider. Black box title, it, make your own tracks. Pretty fun, a classic NES game. And well, let's let's see if we can use the green goo on this one to get this one working again. But first, a little bit of that, just to see. Okay, well, it's working, so never mind. I mean, trust me, I'll take it. Ha ha ha. Tag Team Wrestling. Uh, it's not bad once you learn how to play it. It's the weird part of locking up and then pushing the button a bunch of times to select your move and then to go. Aha! Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. It's not, it's not great. We can, we can clean it. I bet cleaning it is all we need. At least I hope it's all we need. I'm almost out of one-up juice. Oh, I should have done the, uh... well, let me see if this works first. Take my, I didn't even pull the camera over there. Take my word for it, it didn't work. So, I can put it over there. It's gonna show you the same thing as you just saw a second ago. Let's try that weird green stuff. Made with the tears of stomped Goombas. Even the inside of this kind of looks diseased, right? Water damage or something? I don't know. Anyway, here's what, that's what a little looks like. It's a little Enron board. I like these little Enron boards. I think they're cute. Okay, let's use this green gunk. Just a little bit will do. Ugh. I read the instructions like, use liberally. It's like, meh, no. So you do a dab, four dabs, one on each side. Look at this. You see that top part there? Like right, right there, that extra gunk? That's not a good look, but make sure you clean that off before you shove anything in your uh, Nintendo system. The way I figure it, it's, it's their games, and they gave me some games to test this out on. Two of them worked just by popping them in so far. We got one game left after all this. Um, I'm picking up some major, major gunk that's not this green gunk. More than was working on the other one, for sure. You know, like that, that much there. Look at that. Oof. Oof. Gross. Definitely want to use this. Go back to the 1UP card. And if this doesn't work, well, we'll see. Let's see if this works. Turn on. Okay, there it goes. It, you can barely see it, but it's in there. Try Oh, well, there you go. And the same, interesting. Got my soldering iron here. Let's just kind of reflow the solder pins on each one. Again, this is a very old game, so maybe just doing a little bit of this. I hope it's all you need, because we need to get these games working and then back out into the wild. I do not need these games for my own personal collection. If you're unfamiliar with tag team wrestling, I recently ranked uh, NES wrestling games, and I plan on ranking Super Nintendo wrestling games as well as 64 wrestling games sometime soon. I do the open cart surgery stuff, but also like to rank video games along the way. I like to attend conventions and show you my journeys. I learned about half video games, half food. Then again, so am I. I am half video games and half food. So it works out pretty well. I'm just kind of reflowing the solder points here. Okay. Clean the tip. <laughs> Please work, because I'm not going to touch it again. It's the same. Alrighty. Well, we tried. I'll put this one in the I'll check it out later pile. I got one game left, so hopefully that's the one. In fact, this next game, I'm not even going to bother reflowing the solder points. I'm just going to go straight to the green stuff. If it's not working. I mean, it might work. Uh, that game is Back to the Future, by the way. Hmm. Maybe we hope it doesn't work. Who knows? Back to the Future is not working. Like I said, straight to the green. And then after we do the green stuff, then we will, I mean, we'll definitely use a one-up card afterwards. You, you should, because you don't want any residue that you may or may not be able to see. Just because you can't see it, doesn't mean it's not on there. And I'm happy to uh, do that first, and then the one-up card. And this, ah, oh, it looks clean. It looks super clean. Eh, maybe not super clean. All right, uh, clean Q-tip, here's one. Here is the Extra Life Cartridge cleaner. Oh, I never did shake well, did I? It was only meant for cleaning video game cartridge products with void mouth, etc. Gross. I say gross. I love the color. Oh, I put too much on one side there. 
Yeah, definitely want to clean up those sides. I'll use the other side just to pick up any residue that may happen. Same with this side. Come on, baby. Okay, one up cart, ahoy. Just to clean up the pins, because I don't want any of that residue adhering to anything. So we'll see what we can do here. Do another round on this side, just because there's so much of it. Buff it out, buff it out, buff it out, buff it out. So buff. All right, and nothing. Nothing, nothing. I know I said I wasn't going to, but now that I'm here, you know, I'd be remiss if I didn't at least try. I mean, the game's donor probably costs more than the game itself, so it's not that it's not worth saving, but you know, I'm, I don't know, I shouldn't say anything bad. Every every game is someone's favorite game of all time, so there's someone out there who loves this game. You know, maybe their mom bought them this game for uh, Christmas or something. There's a lot of pretty terrible NES games that I seem to like that a lot of people don't. <clears throat> I learned that when I did my uh, ranking black box games, and I gave uh, Urban Champion pretty high scores, like a, a B, I think. I loved Urban Champion. It turns out, not everyone loves Urban Champion. Maybe I'm the only one. I liked it all right. Yeah, it's not great. For its time, I had fun. My brother and I would play it. Hmm. In, it's on, and it's nothing. Okay, well, I'm not gonna worry about it. Well, I had some pretty interesting things today. I had five games and then this uh, Extra Life cartridge cleaner. You're gonna see this pop up in more open cart surgery videos in the near future. I'm curious to see this and I'm looking forward to a, a time where this will be the thing that wins. I have high hopes for it. I've got a whole lot of other open cart surgery videos. If you're new to the channel, make sure you check those out. And I thank you for watching and we'll see you super soon.